A'uzu billahi minash shaitan rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Maryam Lemu. I'm reaching out once again to you because I'd like to get your feedback, your opinion on how you would handle this situation if it were presented to you. I've got my little notebook. I don't want to miss anything, so I'll be referring to it as we go along. Now, a lady reached out to me. They'd been married for eight years and they have two children. Now, soon after they got married, she noticed that her husband wasn't interested in conversation. He wasn't interested in finding out what her interests are, her goals, her aspirations. And he also wasn't giving her any attention. Soon she found herself saddled with responsibilities that were not hers to bear, household responsibilities, the kids' education. And this was a very attractive lady. And unfortunately, he wasn't giving her any compliments whatsoever. She even mentioned that some men would make advances at her in spite of the fact that they knew she was married. Sadly, she then discovered that her husband was having an affair. In spite of confronting him that she has evidence and so on, he adamantly denied it. At one point, she said he started to get aggressive when she challenged him with the fact that she knew he was having affairs. Now, she had a colleague at work whom she used to talk to and lament to about what she was going through. And he would give her very good advice, she said. He would empathize with her. He would listen to her and he would encourage her to be patient and to continue working on her relationship. She said, she said he noticed every little thing about her. He noticed when she looked sad and he would give her empathy and comfort at the right time. She just said he gets it. He would also compliment her and reassure her that she shouldn't feel bad or believe that her husband doesn't find her attractive, that she is such a beautiful lady. And he used to comment about what she's wearing to make her feel good and to cheer her up. Sadly, their friendship started to develop from ordinary friendship to a relationship of sympathy to empathy and then to compliments. At one point, she started to depend on him for validation. And she said that's where the relationship became much stronger. Now, she got absolutely no attention from her husband. He wasn't satisfying her needs. And as she said, he was also cheating on her. And for so many years, she resisted any kind of temptation. But out of looking for somebody to talk to, to vent to, um, someone who would empathize with her, someone who would feed her spirit, she now found herself in a situation she never expected. She said this didn't happen intentionally, that she and this man had absolutely no intention of developing any kind of relationship. Sadly, it had developed into a real affair. Now, she said her husband has no clue whatsoever that this is going on. And she said she knows what she's doing is wrong. She says she knows she has violated the contract of marriage. She has violated the trust of her husband and her children. But she wants to fix things, which is why she reached out to me. She wants to make things better. But when she's not getting this from her husband, she doesn't know how she's going to find fulfillment if she stops relating with this man. So I reach out to you to ask, what would you do if you were in my shoes? I know many would come from the religious angle, but she quoted verses of the Hadith and Qur'ans to me to say she knows what she's doing is a grave sin. And she broke down crying that she knows she's doing something absolutely terribly wrong but she needs to know what to do, how to solve her problem. And that's why I felt I should reach out to you because you may be able to share something that I haven't yet said to her. So I'd like to get your feedback. Reach out to me, please, on my Facebook page, Mariam Lemu, or my YouTube channel, Mariam Lemu, or via Instagram, or Mariam Lemu Official. I look forward to hearing from you. Assalamu alaikum.